You reckon CAA would have ever hired this guy if it no. weren't for the fact that he had a platform of six million people who he managed to accumulate using other people's creative work? They never would have. It's a, it's a, I mean, you said you called it a cardinal sin. Whatever's worse than that. I mean, it's a terrible thing to do. It's terribly dishonest. And and here's what I think. And I'd be interested to hear what Maura and and uh, and Liam think. It, it, it never works in the end. Thieves in comedy specifically rarely win. You might have short-term gains. Carlos Mencia had a lot of gain. He made a lot of money, but where is he now? I mean, you don't really come out, I think, in the end, in ultimate success. And if you care about looking in the mirror and your reputation at all, it's a terrible idea. Well, yeah, that's I mean, the problem with him. Sorry, I'm totally cutting you off. It's only because I can't say your name. So uh, the, <laughs> the problem with him is that he's not trying to be you know, the uh, king of stand-up comedy. He's not trying to be a, um, a super successful comedian. He does not care at all. He is getting money. He's taking that money and he's just living a very happy life. And that's actually the problem because if you, if his end goal was to be an artist and to be respective, respected creatively, he's going to fail. But that doesn't seem to be his end goal at all. And so the way, not necessarily going to fail. Who's doing who's doing worse damage to Jews? Benjamin Netanyahu and his foreign policy or the fat Jew? I mean, this literally does create kind of like a sense of anti-Semitism. Like his nickname is the fat Jew and he's a thief. You don't need uh, enough reasons to hate. Other and and, and, if, and he's rich this. and he controls the media. <laughs> <laughs> infuriating because I posted out something about it and I have been getting nonstop attacks being told that I'm anti-Semitic and body shaming. Like I've gotten those nonstop and I keep having to explain that, no, I'm Jewish. I'm very proud of being Jewish. I'm not anti-Semitic at all. And I'm very ashamed of my own body. So no, I'm not, I'm not body shaming anyone else. It's infuriating. He's making everyone who attacks him look bad just by the name he chose. I mean, this and guy goes out of his way. I want to apologize for all those hate tweets sent from myself. Uh, that being said, could you stand up? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I can't actually. My legs are uh, not functional at the moment, but thanks. You can Google image search that. Oh, already did. Creepy. Yeah. <laughs> what about the argument that this is some kind of aggregation, that this is all like meta, that in the modern world, like everything is aggregating, Buzzfeed has listicles, you know, HuffPost will link out to a New York Times piece, but to be fair, it'll always credit the New York Times. And so maybe this is just what the new world that we live in. There is no such thing as an original joke, Pete. That is what an aggregator is. They pull content from other places and they give credit. Don't hide. He can't hide behind that BS label of aggregation. He's going out of his way to screen grab and cut out the credit. That takes an actual extra step. He's yeah. not even going what's easiest, which is just hitting retweet or share. The media sites make it super easy to share stuff. He is taking extra additional steps to make sure that the original creators do not get credit so that he looks as though he's the one creating it. Josh, did you just did you just injure yourself physically trying to be a devil's advocate with that question? I did. Um, I, I did. It was really, it was a bit tough for me. I knew I needed to push back in some way. Like, what can you say about the worst man in the world? It's like if we were doing a segment about Hitler, and I'd be like, "Hang on, hang on. What about the trains? Let's remember the trains on time. Very timely <laughs> trains." Well, be fair. Ostrovsky's only hurting one Jew. I mean, Hitler was a little bit worse with what he did. Yeah, that's true. Also, uh, it's self-inflicted in the case of the fat Jew. Uh, I don't. Th I don't think it's particularly offensive, is it? I don't think it's offensive if a Jewish person calls themselves a fat Jew. I mean, he is fat. No, but, and he is a Jew. But it is. It is weird to like b go online and see like the fat Jew loves money and the fat Jew's so greedy and the fat Jew's yeah. you know stealing off of other people's hard labor. It really actually. Like, I, I do get the feeling that there are some people who are like, finally, my chance to say this publicly.